What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for the Manchester City latest news. We're going to be rounding up everything there is to talk about with Manchester City that's been happening over the last week. We're going to start off with some news on Sergio Aguero. He's got an injury at the moment. At the time of doing this, he's out for two weeks with uh, abdominal pains. Um, he could well be back for the Everton match, certainly be back for Christmas and certainly uh, will be back going into next week, but he isn't back for tonight's game. So, speedy recovery to Sergio and hopefully we'll have him back soon. Next up, following on from last week's news reportings about the UEFA leaks and investigations and everything into Manchester City about financial fair play, the Guardians put that, the, to be honest, the investigation is nowhere near close to completion. They're at an early stage. Manchester City's name's not actually being mentioned, uh, but apparently CFCB, a committee, uh, I don't know who they are, but apparently they're the ones that are investigating and looking into any potential breaches of financial fair play. But uh, the report last week was saying that Manchester City was set to be found guilty. They could be stripped of European place for next season, they were saying, but the Guardian saying, actually, not the case. Things aren't anywhere near that stage. So we'll keep an eye on developments there. Next up, City were in Premier League action. We faced Watford away. We ended up winning away 2-1 after a magnificent Riyad Mahrez performance, getting a wonderful assist and getting a goal too to help Manchester City get three more points, move on to 41 points and save in the Premier League. Next up, we had the FA Cup draw. Manchester City have drawn Rotherham in the FA Cup. At home, will be played on Sunday, January 6th, 2 p.m. kickoff. GMT. It's not on television. It's been moved to the Sunday, though, as Manchester City are playing on Jan um, January 3rd, which is a Thursday, so we're going to be playing on the Sunday to give an extra day's recovery. On January 3rd, we've got that huge game at home against Liverpool. Next up, we was in Premier League action again, away again against Chelsea. We were beaten for the first time in the Premier League this season as our undefeated streak for this season comes to an end, beaten 2-0 at Stamford Bridge after a very good performance from Chelsea on their own patch. Needed three points from Chelsea, in my opinion. It's seen City slip to second uh, at this moment in time. Seen Liverpool go first. Uh, Liverpool got some very difficult fixtures coming up. So has City, but I'd say Liverpool over the next couple of games, very difficult. Man United at home, they'll have a good record against Manchester United. Home or away, and they've got a difficult game away against Wolves, who love raising their game too. So a couple of difficult games in December for Liverpool, where City go into Everton at home. And then we've also got a match against Crystal Palace at home. So a couple of home games where City, I imagine, will be looking for six points. But... We may well have to do it without Kevin De Bruyne, David Silva, possibly even Sergio Aguero going into the weekend. You never know, we've got no Mendy too. Things are starting to pile up with injuries, things are starting to get interesting, so it'll be interesting to see how much rotation Pep goes for. Next up though, some better news for Manchester City. Phil Foden has signed a six-year contract at Manchester City. It's going to keep him at Manchester City now until 2024 on £30,000 a week. Now, I imagine over the next season or two when he gets more game time, plays more minutes and becomes a, more of a first team regular with Manchester City, that wage will obviously increase and he'll be given a new deal. But for now, he's signed and sealed and secured his future at Manchester City so we don't have to worry about Phil Foden leaving Manchester City. Now, next up, Pep Guardiola has gone and done his press conference for the game building up to the Hoffenheim game tonight. He's confirmed David Silva has picked up a little hamstring injury, three weeks out injured. Could have been a lot worse because it can be a fair few weeks of hamstring injury. So, three weeks. Imagine he'll be back for the new year and could well be back for the Liverpool game. A blow for City going into these December fixtures, but it could have been worse. On some better news, though, Kevin De Bruyne now is training. He started working hard with the Manchester City squad. He won't be fit to play tonight. He probably won't be back even to make the substitute bench, bench sorry, against Everton. However, he could well be back for the Carabao Cup and the Christmas running going into next week. So it's always welcome to have some players returning back from injury. We've got Aguero and De Bruyne, two of City's best players, coming back at the right time. Next up... Uh, some interesting ones with regards to some people being called up to the City squad to train and some other players being seen. Now, Eloquin Mangala, he's training with the Manchester City squad. Uh, Felix Nemicha, uh, Benjamin Gart and Philip Sandler are also training with the Manchester City squad as it goes down to the bare bones for tonight. Pep said 15 players fit for tonight. Uh, a bit ridiculous, that, so it'll be interesting to see the bench and whether we actually feel a full bench of seven players. But I presume that they're doing this because a couple of players can be registered in a Champions League squad without having to be registered if you get what I mean if you're homegrown and you've been produced by the club's academy I don't think you have to be registered so you'll be able to feature on the bench tonight we won't be seeing Mangala and we won't be seeing a couple of the other youngsters like Philip Sandler who only joined in the summer however players that have been trained at Manchester City will be able to sit on the bench I think. Now, uh, interesting that Mangala's training. He's training with Manchester City. He's not registered Premier League player, I don't think, either. But we may well see him in the Carabao Cup, whether on the bench or whether it is 
uh, starting even in the match against Leicester away in the, for the quarter-final match. It may well be Mangala's last ever City appearance to that game. So, uh, if it is, you know, farewell to Eloquin Mangala. He's a player that never really kicked it off, but still, uh, at times, been enjoyable. Uh, I know some fans might disagree with that, but I still remember fondly his performance against PSG when uh, shutting out Zlatan Ibrahimovic in the Champions League quarter-final that time. Brilliant performance from Mangala. He does have that potential there to be a good centre-back. He just needs to be more consistent with his game. Now, last up, Manchester City have signed a player. He's up signing Zach Stefan from Columbus Crew over in the MLS in the United States. Apparently, it's the largest fee in MLS history for a goalkeeper. He will join Manchester City in July, July 9th, 2019. That's the start of the second transfer window for the MLS. He'll remain with Columbus Crew until then. It's going to be a four-year deal, 2023 undisclosed fee. He's joining Manchester City. There was concerns over him going out on loan and getting a work permit. I don't know if that's been sorted out or not. I'm waiting to get more information but once we do have more information i'll obviously be including it in the latest manchester city news so there we go that's been the video any more developments in the latest news we'll have a video out for you guys so make sure you stay tuned make sure you subscribe and make sure you press the bell put your push notifications on to be kept up in the loop asap social media links they're in the description below too don't forget leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all again tomorrow for the match analysis of tonight's game against hoffenheim so I'll see you then. So it's been JSGC. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Ciao for now.